Right, hey everyone, we are back in the barn. The gang is back working on the frame. So, just delivered the last of the timbers we need that you saw milling in the last video. Me and Nye are just cutting out the last braces we need. We need eight more braces to finish. Uh, we just cut out four, which have been prioritizing doing that before starting a video. Uh, this frame is the frame that was left here in the last framing video. And we just cut these braces out. So Nye, uh, not Nye, Howard and Steve are gonna scribe them and then we'll have a big cutting out session, get that cross frame done. And there's one more of them to do. And then we've got uh, three trusses to do as well. Right, we've reached a bit of a milestone and that is all the braces are done. So please do that there, because I think I've made about 50 of them so far. So now I'm gonna get on and help the guys clean out mortises. So yeah, busy, busy, busy. reference I feel this needs rocking over now. Huh? Yeah I think I just managed to squeeze it in there before so it came apart. Uh, I'll tap the spline in first as well though. Yeah, it just needs 
these go in nicely. Just in case we need to put it down. You got any more there, Steve? Are you? Right, that's another cross frame down. So we have uh, one more cross frame to do. And then it is three trusses and we're done. Done in here anyway. Still loads to do, but done in here. <laughs> yeah, so we're just uh, doing the chisel marks and then it's going in the stack. And that's gonna be coming back to my place soon enough. And then we'll be putting it up. Right, another frame packed away and in the stack. And we're just starting to lay out another one. We just had a bit of a tidy up in here as well because we've got to be out of here soon. So uh, yeah, a few people in some of the first videos I did were asking how the, uh, the frame's gonna get moved back to my place. Well, it comes back apart and take it like that, all with one big stack and then uh, put it back together again. So yeah. That was the answer for that one. So yeah, we're gonna get this one more frame sorted out and um, laid up and we'll carry on with that tomorrow. Yeah, I was gonna trailer everything back. So on my trailer, same way it all came here, because we're in a rush to get it out, I've got a uh, small lorry with a crane coming, um, which can put it all in one load because it's like five or six trips otherwise on the trailer because there's about 60 of these timbers, I think, in total. So yeah, it's like, Quite, quite a lot of weight, quite a lot of mass. So just gonna get a small lorry to do it. And uh, then we can get out of here quicker. Should give us another day's extra time then in the barn. Right, another day in the barn, Friday. And just got the last cross frame, cross frame number five. Well, it's actually a middle one, but it's the fifth last one we need to do. Steve just started cutting out some of the joinery for it. And I'm over there putting in the last of two post bases. So we're getting some pivotal points here today. Last cross frame, last post feet, all going in the stack. And it won't be long now. And this will be going back to my place. It'll be done <laughs> and standing.
Right, everyone, last cross frame going together. So the big cutting out session on it, we all got on. Howard was on the mortiser. Everyone else cleaning out mortises and drilling peg holes and stuff. Uh, nye has been carrying on datum in all of the uh, truss timbers. Uh, I've got the last of the post feet mounted that we need to do in the barn here anyway. And now we've just got to see if this goes together first fit. If it does, that is cross frames done. And I haven't filmed it because it's just a repeat of something you've seen loads of times now. Yeah, so we'll see if this goes together. If it does, brilliant. Uh, hopefully we'd have to take it apart again. Just about. Cool, that pace needs to come up. It's like a half an inch off. Yeah, up in its entirety. There we go. That piece of knocks in there. Breaks. See you later, Steve. Hold well on. Right, so we've reached a pivotal point in the build. That's all the cross frames done. Didn't film much of it because obviously we've done five of these now. So we had a good day today getting that done. Um, I did two post bases and uh, we got some timbers datumed up ready for doing the trusses. So yeah, that's gonna get packed away now in the uh, stack ready to go back to my place. And it's three trusses and then we're out of here and then we'll be putting it up. All right, it's a weekend now, so we'll have a rest and then we'll get back to this on Monday. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're out. All right, it is Monday morning, Nine Howard came in Saturday, cleared away the last cross frame, started laying out these um, trusses. So me and Steve are just gonna start dating up and getting, we need three, and Nine Howard have laid, got two laid out, so we're just gonna start laying out a third one, and then we'll just uh, have a big cutting out session, I suppose.
it. That's it, good. Exactly. But we don't do that in this country no. anymore. We don't, we're not like, you know, like you might have had the coffin maker or whatever. You know, Thank you. Know, Should be 2.2, right? Oh, it should be two from the hundred. 2.1, 2.1. So it needs to come over a tiny, tiny bit. Too much. We're just there. That's it. So now it's all fixed in place. We've got a tiny little gap down here. No gap up here, so we do a kerf cut and that'll squeeze up then. Up to you, Howard. I am doing more scribes for one of the last trusses. So, I've got a bit of a clamp issue with clamps being in the way. Nah. But we're getting there. Yeah. We've got a bit of a double scribe here because this face is like a oh, bow, right. just got a hump in the middle. Yeah. Which most of it will be taken out when we take the mortise out the middle. But I'm yeah. having to scribe this side of it the centre line this way and that side of the centre Oh uh, right, way. yeah I see. It's quite fun. Add to the mix. So yeah, all three trusses are underway. Howell's on one, Nye's on one, me and Steve are on one at the back. So Steve's just scribing the tenon for this truss that we've just laid out. Oh, sorry Steve, just dropped your level. I'm not, I'm not having much luck here.
He's got the same. He keeps moving that whole time. Yeah. Okay, just to bring it back a bit. Yeah, yeah. Okey-doke. Leave it there a sec. So we can shunt this down a little bit. Drive that in a second so I don't have to under that wedge. Although, you might not need it. What's the um, what's your hole spacing so we can copy it? Uh, ninety. So from the end, nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. Right. Normally and it's hundred mil between, but we wanted to squeeze three, didn't we? So it's got. So ninety mil in between, thirty-five from the edge. Edge, yeah. yeah cool. The truss we were working on went together, just needs a couple of curve cuts in the morning and uh, that'll be alright. And so that's one almost down, it's like an hour work. And then Howard and I got one here that's done, I believe, just needs feet cuts and the top cutting on it and chisel marks and things. And then we've got one more to do tomorrow and all the little finishing off and tidying up bits and then we're, we're done in, in the barn, which is exciting. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll carry on tomorrow. All right, hey everyone, it is the final day in the barn. So I've just loaded up all the braces, to take back to my place. They're all stacked up there. Steve's just going through the truss we did yesterday, just making sure that all the joints fit nice and all the measurements are correct. As always, doing a lovely job. Howard and I have packed away the one they did yesterday and I've just started to do the third one, last one and then uh, out of here tomorrow. So the stack is getting pretty big. Here's the stack, look. So that's uh, trusses. And then that's all the uh, frames and cross frames. Yeah, the big old stack. <laughs> A lot of work went into that.
So yeah, all of that's going on the lorry tomorrow and uh, gonna deliver it at my place and try and put it in somewhat of a logical order. And then in a few weeks time, we'll be putting it up. Curve cuts are a useful little trick with things is that, you know, this some, sometimes you've got a tiny little, you know, discrepancy at the bottom of a joint and a gap at the top. You just run a saw down and then the width of the saw usually closes that gap up with a curve cut. Very handy little uh, technique to use, for not just for timber framing, for all sorts of stuff. There you go, now you did the last cut in the hey. barn. <laughs> is that it then? Like an that's it. Warmer. So that's it, that was the last cut needed to do on the frame. Well, actually we still got to do the uh, truss layup to the wall plate, but we're doing that at my place, we run out of time in here. And that's it, that's done, it's ready to go in the stack. Tomorrow it's come back to mine on the lorry. And then we're gonna reconvene in a few weeks to uh, put it up after we've done the wall plate layup. All right. So you watch me load it up and take it back to my place tomorrow. Hey everyone, well uh, everything kind of went wrong a bit quickly after that uh, last video clip. I uh, went there to go and collect all the, uh, to bring all the stuff back on the lorry. And it's supposed to be a nice little flatbed lorry, small one, with a crane on the back that's going to take it all. The lorry showed up and it was like an old scrap metal lorry with like gravel and oil in the back and old radiators and push bikes and there was no means of strapping anything down because it had like metal sides on it. We couldn't load this. It was just not suitable at all. So sent it away, started trailering it. So moved it all by hand, unloaded it by hand. So we've got the wall plates and the trusses here. And then tomorrow we have to go back. Me and Nye are going to just uh, trailer it all back. So Nye's going to be with me all day. We're just going to do like three trips with the trailer and just offload it by hand and stack it all up. So yeah, I'm a bit flustered, but uh, we'll get it done. Yeah, it's just not, uh, not what the plan was. It's gonna be ridiculously heavy. You pick it up first. Ready? Oh, it's not that bad. Are you okay? Yeah, good. I got it. <sighs> Yep. Oh, that one's heavy. Alright, ready? Yep. You have to keep going back, mate. I can't get anywhere near otherwise. There we go. That's it. So what's that one there then? That'll be the last post. Last post. She's not too bad. <sighs> so keep going back, watch that board. Yep. <sighs> Put it somewhere in the middle. I'll use that as like a support for a little a tower. tower thing going over it to protect them. Oh, well done, mate. Good work. Oh, man. Alright, so as you saw from that last clip, me and Nye managed to get all the timber here. 
I've got it sort of uh, roughly covered up. Uh, it's all under there. There's a lot of it. Um, lifting all that has put my back in no real position to do much more than that with it at the moment. So I need a bit of a rest from it. But it's getting airflow through it. I've crawled under there. It's not too hot. It's certainly not hotter under there than it is out here. And it's keeping the direct sunlight off it. And it seems for the most part to stop cracking because I could hear it cracking for a little while. So yeah, that is it. That is the frame here. It's on site. It's ready to go up. Uh, just need to figure some stuff out, do some organising, and then we'll uh, work out getting this thing put up. So yeah, anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.